Hello and welcome back to my Arduino and electronics channel. My name is John and this is tutorial number 7 in a series of videos about Arduino and electronics. Last time we had a look at all possible data types in Arduino, and we left arrays and strings for this episode. First of all, let's have a look at what an array is. It can be seen as a collection of elements of the same data type. You can see it, in its simplest form, as a list. To declare an array we use the square brackets to tell Arduino that we want to create an array, for instance we can write my list, open the square bracket, 5, close the bracket. This is not complete, as we need to tell Arduino what kind of elements are in the list, so we must assign a data type also. Let's make this an array of integers, like this. This tells Arduino that there will be 5 elements in our list, without assigning any value to the elements. In alternative we can declare the array and also initialize it with some values, for instance my list. Open the square bracket. 5. Close the bracket. Equals. Open a curly bracket. 1, 2, 3, 4. Close the bracket. Those two ways are both valid and we can now access a particular value in the list using its index. We must remember that arrays are zero indexed. This means that the list start from zero. If we want to get the first element we use my list, zero. Also, you may notice that I have assigned five elements to the array, but I just put four elements into it. This is because the array must have a terminator character that is added automatically by the Arduino IDE, so we will always need to declare one extra space to allow for the terminator. If you remember, we said that there are two kinds of strings in Arduino. One in lower case, and the other with a capital S. The first type is an array of characters, just as your name is a list of letters. To create such a list in Arduino we write char, my name, 5, John. This makes a list of character containing the letters of my name. This is a string. Note that it has 5 elements, one for each letter plus one for the terminator. Now, if we want a string that contains a particular name this is fine, but what if we want, for instance, a string where one can insert any name? Surely a fixed length string is not what we want. There is then another way to declare it. Just leave the number of elements into the brackets empty, and Arduino will figure out how many elements are needed. We can do some tests to understand how we can work with this string, or array of characters. Write this simple sketch, inside the setup function so it will execute only once. Use the serial monitor to visualize what happens. First we print out the second character, this is at index position 1. Then we try the first, at position 0. Finally we try just the variable name, without any index. When we do that, Arduino will pull out the first element, and then carries on retrieving all other elements until it finds the terminator. That is why Arduino needs a terminator at the end, so it can understand where the list finish. Upload the sketch and open the serial monitor to see the results. As expected, we have here the second letter, then the first, then the entire content of the variable. Now we know how to create a variable and assign some initial values to it, but what if we want to change the values? It is easy enough to change an individual character, using the index. For instance change the second letter to E, and the third to A and see what happens. Look at what we have done. First we assign John to the array, and note that I use double quotation marks to indicate this is an array. Then we change a single letter, and I used single quotation marks to indicate this is a single character. Now let's try to change the entire variable content at once, let's try this, my name equals mark. If we try to upload the sketch we get an error. Arduino says invalid array assignment. 
This is because as we see before the variable name points to the first element of the array and we are trying to assign four characters where there is only space for one. When we read the content of the array Arduino automatically pulls out the next until it finds the end, but this is not happening if we try to write into it. Luckily, there is a function for that, string copy. This function needs two parameters, the destination where the string should be copied to, and the source where the string is coming from. The destination should be a variable, and the source can be a variable, a constant, or a string which is a text inside double quotes. Now sometimes we need to insert some special character into a string, for example double quotes, but just typing them into a string will not work. The IDE will think the string is finished after seeing the second double quotes and everything after that will become unclear. As an example we try to set our string as this. As you can see we get an error again. To enter a double quote in a string, we need to use an escape character, which in Arduino language is the backslash. So if we write this it will finally work. The IDE will treat the character immediately after the backslash as a special one and insert it into the string. There are other special characters that we can use in this way, we will see them as we go on learning Arduino programming. Also, there are other useful functions that we can apply to a string, for instance string length takes one parameter, a string, and returns the number of characters in the string. It will however not count the null character at the end, the terminator. Size of, does the same thing as string length, however it will include the null character, returning the size of the full array. String concatenate, will add a string to the end of another one. Let's try to write down a sketch using these functions. First we create a string with my name, and of course you can use yours. Then we use string length to calculate how long it is, and we use size off, to calculate the length again. We should see that the latter is one character longer. As you can see the size returned by string length is 4, and the size returned by size off, is 5. This is because it includes the terminator. We can also print out the string like this. Now use string concatenate to add something to my name, for instance the string, loves cats and print out the length again, and print the string again. Upload the sketch and see what happens. Hmm, this is not what we were expecting. Remember that we said that Arduino figures out how long the array is if we omit to specify that. Well, that is done only once, and adding the two strings we wrote over the terminator character and Arduino no longer knows where the variable ends. So we need to pay attention on how long our array is, if we do not want strange results. If we initially set the array long enough, then everything is working as intended. First the variable is set to be John, which is 4 characters, but we allowed for it to be 50 characters long. Then we add other text to it, and now there is enough space to contain all the phrase. To help us dealing with those kind of situations we can use the other type of string, the one with a capital S. While all we saw till now was an array of characters, the string with a capital S is an object. What we mean by the word object in programming is something that has some characteristics, that we call properties, and has some functions, that we call methods. To help understand this, we can imagine the object car. A car has some properties, like its color, number of seats, and so on. But a car also has some functions, the methods, for instance a car can move, park, brake, accelerate. We have already used an object, the serial object. We used the methods begin, and print line. A string with capital S is very much similar. The object string has many methods, we will see them going on learning. For now just try a few examples. Declare a string like this. And add something to it. And finally print the result. As you see now all is working as we expected. We can apply the method, length, to see how long the string is like this. 
or transform it to uppercase using this method. So, if the object string is so powerful, why bother using the character arrays? The biggest reason is that string, with a capital S, needs much more memory, and memory is precious on Arduino. You can see that just to print that short text we used up about 10% of the available resources. This is all for today. Next time we will have a look at how we can use Arduino to power devices that requires a lot of current, such as motors or even lamp bulbs connected to the mains. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to hear your comments and suggestions. If you liked it, you can leave me a like, and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss the next videos.